How about now? We good? Can can you hear now? Ay, ay, ay. Um, it's because I'm an idiot and didn't actually have my mic turned on. So. Yeah. Yep. Just me. Just me being a dumbass. How about now? How about now? We good? Oh. We good? Can, can you hear now? Ay, ay, ay. Um, it's because I'm Ah, oh, Jesus. And now it's... I have my mic turned on. So. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, just me. Just me being dumbass. You're gonna hear, like, double. That was some double audio. Um... In, enjoy that. Enjoy that double audio. Just. As you can see, I, I am a uh, live streaming professional. Uh, we should be okay soon. <laughs> You're gonna hear like double. That was some double audio. Um, enjoy that. <laughs> Enjoy that double audio. Just... Yeah, I know. As you can see, I I am a uh, live streaming professional. Uh, we should be okay soon. <laughs> You're gonna hear like double. That was some double audio. Uh... Okay, I think. We've finally reached the end of this horror show. Um, my apologies. My bad. My bad. I, yeah. Uh, didn't know that on YouTube, um, so they have like, you know, like the little screen out that has like the view so I can see all your chats. That wasn't muted, but it's also like, like 20 seconds behind so that I can keep up with you know what people are saying and so I only discovered it wasn't muted 20 seconds into it and by then it was like too late but it was in two windows so I had to <laughs> it was like twice so I had to wait for both of them I sorry this womp womp okay I think that like we're good now. Now that I know what I'm doing. Barely. So as I was saying when I was muted, uh, classic, um, was that I learned from the last attempt at painting to start with the base layers. So I was going to uh, mix me up some, uh, some skin, some skin tones, some some delicious skin tones over here. Yeah, we figured it out. We figured it out. So I mixed some uh, some brown, some uh, some like burnt sienna. Yes, some burnt sienna. I got. I found um, in my uh, closet, basically, while looking for a box to put my nail art stuff in. I found a bunch of watercolors, despite having already spent an ungodly amount of money on watercolor paints the other day. So that was like so fun. Actually, you know what? This kind of sucks at mixing. I'm gonna... I also found a ton of brushes, so that was like a kind of exciting find, and I'll just use it to mix this up for myself. Did not bring any water for this, but that's okay. It's kind of a garbage brush, but that's okay, because I'm not using it to actually paint. I already shedded a billion hairs. Whatever. It's fine. Like, would this really be like a, you know, a Natalia production if I didn't mess it up entirely? Like, the real questions. Asking the real questions here. Okay. So, I started um, a new drama last night. Um, actually, not last night. What am I talking about? That's true, Jesse. I can never have enough brushes. I started um, 
a, a drama this morning because I, for some reason, like woke up ridiculously early. I guess I was just like really excited to like come hang out with you guys. Um, but and I was Jesse will be real happy about this. I started a Japanese drama. Um, what was the name of it? Oh my goodness. Do, do, do. I have it. It's called Kaka Fukaka. And so far, it's like hella cute, but also real ridiculous. So there's like this girl who's a part timer and has like, she, as she says, has absolutely no skills. And, uh,. She goes home from her part-time job to find uh, her her boyfriend stupping someone else. So she's like, well, I gotta get out of here, cause like, no dice. So she uh, ends up moving in, ends up moving into her um, friend's place. She lives in like a share house. And um, her first boyfriend from like, high school, the first guy she ever had sex with, uh, lives in this house, and he's apparently, hi! And she's, he's apparently, uh, we're talking about Furukaka, um, he's apparently impotent, but, like, gets a heart on when he sees her, so. <laughs> I wish I was kidding about the plot of this drama. So, um, then decides to, like, ask her to, like, help him out, but not, like, by letting him, I don't know, like, hug her and sleep in the same bed as her so he can see if he can have, like, morning wood, because his he's a novelist and his ability to write has left with his ability to have hard-ons. Surprisingly cute for such a ridiculously, just ridiculous plot line. What's, uh, what's everyone else watching these days? Tip yeah, it is really typical J-drama, Desi. It totally is. Um, they just, they, yeah, I don't want to give anything away, but it's actually, like, really enjoyable. I'm gonna be real. I'm, but, you know, like, to get me to enjoy something takes literally no effort, so. No, Trot, that's totally true. Like, every time I try to describe the plot of literally anything, like, it always sounds like I'm a crazy person. Like, <laughs> I'm like, so, yeah. So then, like, they, you know, like, any, just, any girl. I remember I was trying to describe the plot of Hyde Jekyll and Me to someone, um, and I was like, so, there's this girl and she's dating, uh, identical twins, except they're not identical twins. They're the same guy, um, who has, like, a multiple personalities that hate each other and actively try to foil each other in their dating life. <laughs> the person I was describing this to was like, what? what? Why would you, why would you watch this? What? And I was like, no, 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 like, it was, you know, it's enjoyable. Don't, don't worry about it. See, unfortunately, like, I find that dramas come in, like, waves, as it were, and that, that had the unfortunate timing to come out at the, as the same time as, and it was actually, it was really good, and it was bizarrely poignant at the end, but it came out at the same time as, um, what's that other one with multiple personalities? Um, oh my god. Kill Me, Heal Me. So, like, it's sort of one. <laughs> you know what, though? History 3 doesn't have that crazy of a plot line. It's like, this cop's trying to find out, like, what this, hap what this gangster knows about the death of his senior, and then him and the gangster fall in love. Like, that's, you know, that's not, that's not terrible. Like, that's pretty, you know, standard. Yeah, kill, thank you, Grace. Kill me, heal me.
Okay, yeah, that was like a pretty him not realizing that he's bi, like I'll give I'll give you that. Like that was that was weak. Weak. Cause like you could pretty much tell it from any of his interactions with literally anyone around him. It's like, oh yes, like I just let you know, get shirtless and let my doctor friend massage me. Nor that's normal dude friend stuff. Just, you know, just doing what dudes do. Just doing... Oh, Jesus, look horns? No, man. Like, they're inexplicable. They're inexplicable. So I have like two paintings today and a few of you will be really uh, pumped about the second painting though this one's going going pretty nice like it doesn't look as terrible as the last attempt Beth, Beth can tell you the last attempt was uh, a little rough but it's okay you know like I'm not a I'm not a watercolor painter I am a digital painter and digital painting is incredibly different it's it's different in the sense that when I do digital paintings, I go top down because like, you know, if you like, when you're painting, if you miss something, then when you put the bottom layer in, you'll notice. So I go top down. So like, if this was a digital painting, I'd have started with like the hair, the eyebrows, the eyes, the lips, then the clothes, then the skin, um, moving down. But like, you can't, you, you gotta go opposite. You got you got to go opposite. Okay, so I'm gonna start like a new. I don't want them to have the exact same skin tone because that's not how things work. I'm gonna add a little bit of you. I want to add a little bit of just like a, a sousin. Oh, it's not even open. <laughs> a sousin of like red. Just that. There we go. gonna be sort of a more of a pink tone it was even that tiny dot was like way too much pink need more white need more white because she's like a noble woman like she never you know she doesn't go out in the sun well she does but like she's not supposed to again so what's every what's everyone watching these days give me the give me the skin give me the skinny the skinny on your dramas Like, I know that most of us are watching history, but besides that, what are we, what are we all watching these days? How's voice? I I re Ooh. 
How's how how's the new season of Voice? Like I I really liked the previous seasons, but I haven't finished season two yet because like I do that thing where you start and then just forget that you're watching it and then stop. Ah, her private life. What? Though, I saw that twist cut. We saw, like, the Nunas and I saw that twist coming from, like, a mile away. Um. Like, the whole mom thing. Hmm. That's true. Like, her private life, it brings the feels. The happy feels, mostly because it's really nice to have, like, a K-drama lead who's not a dillweed. He's actually, like, real nice and supportive and kind and thoughtful. And I love him. <laughs> well, yeah, like... It, it's a K-drama. There's only so many different, you know, plot twists that they really have. Oh, but like, the villain and see, like, the villains are good in voice. So if it's even darker than the last season, like, we're talking, we're talking dark. Dork. Like, he's just, oh my god, he's just so, uh, I feel, you know what, Trot, I don't feel ya, but I, I sympathize. I sympathize. I unfortunately have been married for literally ever, so... Ooh, ooh, I do like a good crime drama. Hey, Shanta, you should watch Voice. You'd really enjoy it. I'll, um, I'll hook you up, uh, with some episodes for you. Because you like, we like crime stuff. Shanta's my sister, by the way. She's D. Marshall Forgy. That's my sister. She's, uh, it's almost embarrassing to paint in front of her because she's an incredible watercolor painter. Um, and I am... <laughs> Actually, like, I gotta say, this one is already going better and I've than the last one. I you know I quickly learn from my mistakes. Ooh. But it's a crime it's a, it's an OCN crime drama. You're really you're expecting people to die on it, eh? There's like a, a, sorry about the lag, there's like a lag, so like if sometimes there's silences, I'm just waiting for comments and stuff. I found are pretty nice. They're not like as nice as the fancy $30 ones that I bought the other day, but I rather like them. I'm a good boy. The brushes I bought on AliExpress because I'm cheap and poor, but they work incredibly, so no 
complaints. Ooh, I do like a good suspenseful show. I really like the first season. I was kind of sad that Jang Hyuk didn't return for like the second season or whatever. But you know, he's got all sorts of stuff going on, so I, I get it. But like, he was real good in that. Okay, like, I I get that modern day uh, Japanese really didn't have that much to do with, you know, any of the stuff. But, um, does a Japanese person have any real reason to <laughs> hate on a Korean? Like, I get the opposite, but, uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. Just saying. He pro he totally probably is. <laughs> oh, Jang Yuk, have you seen his um? Oh my God, that reality cop show. Un, I was where they like go actually, you know, hunt down and arrest criminals, I was losing it. It's like the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. And all I could think like the entire time was, how, why is this being allowed? Like, <laughs> why, Urban Cops, that's the name of it. Like, why, why would a, a police station allow just this, these random actors to come and pretend to be cops. Alright, I've got like a black brown here, so we're like really going in for the kill. It's like, <laughs> the little guy is so cute in that show though, but Jen Yuck is too intense. He's like working out all the time and really getting into this cop role. Okay. Now I've got like a black here, black brown for the hair, and I'm like, ooh, I don't want to fuck it up. Okay. Oh, that's some, that's, that was, that's very intense. Whew! Whew! Well, doesn't he always kind of act like an ass, though? Like, in the show, he was kind of, like, a bit of a dillweed all the time. Ah, motherfucker. I done fucked it. I done fucked it. It's okay, I can fix it. I can fix it. I can fix it. I can fix it. She says with confidence that she does not quite believe. I gave him a little bit too intense a brow. Ha, huh, whoops. You know what, it's fine, it's fine.
So I uh, was informed by Jesse yesterday that On Demand Korea has um, uh, Circle, and I feel like we should have like a Circle Rabbit Night one day because that show is the bomb. subbed lame like I have it permanently saved to my phone because it's like my favorite show of all time um, but I don't think I can wrap it from like videos saved to my phone but you know where it does have it not that I'm hmm, condoning this but Daybok drama definitely has circle subbed so just Putting that out there for hmm, anyone perhaps intrigued. Like, Circle is like one of the greatest dramas I've ever seen. It was just like so just so good and like so underrated like it just you know it sort of slid under the radar when it was you know on and I'm not entirely sure how because it was just so excellent Maybe. Or like, do, what's like their, I wonder if their model is sort of like Viki with like, you know, um, whatchamacallit, uh, like fan, like, you know, I don't want to say fan subbers, because like, that's what, you know, we get online, um, that we don't have to pay for. Um, but like volunteer subbers or something. I hope not, because I'm sorry. Like, I love Viki and what it does for me as an addict of the dramas, but my god, they take forever sometimes. It's like, it would be faster sometimes for some of the subbers to just go find, like, the illegal subs and then just copy them because they're already done at, like, a much faster rate. I, I have like the Cocoa and I'm, I really like it. They sub real fast on there. It's like, uh, with the, I find with the variety shows, except for Running Man, they usually have Running Man done right away. It's like the next day, but with actual shows, like it's like real quick. And yet when, when they like put them on the Viki, they don't give them the subtitles for some like, I don't, I don't understand what the benefit of having the Cocoa Pass on Viki is. I know! Like, I know, Jesse. like... No, I haven't yet, but it's on my list. Beth, I'm speaking now to Beth about Secret Investigation Record. I think 
the hair is looking pretty good. I don't know about you guys. Secret investigation. Is that a J drama or is it a is it a C drama or is it a K drama? Like I feel like Like I feel like I know it if it's what I'm thinking of. Like I don't have it anymore. I used to have it, but I also had Okay, so it's like yeah, like you get all the, you get not even all of the Cocoa shows, you just get like some of them and they don't provide the subs. And you could just, like I just pay for Cocoa instead, so I just have like the, the Viki standard for like their J-dramas and stuff, and like, just Cocoa for everything else, because you, you get the subs right away, I don't, I don't under, I don't understand the, the purpose of the cocoa thing like if you if it wasn't gonna be like I, I just don't under I just don't understand it because it's like you don't get added benefit from having it like if someone else knows if there is actual like benefits because like everything that they have is on Cocoa, but it gets subbed much faster. So I don't... I don't really understand. I don't under, I don't understand it personally. Like... It's a bit of a, bit of a waste of money in my, in my opinion. I just, and I just go with Cocoa because at least you can... Yeah! So why not just, like, just go on Cocoa. You get the subs right away. Like, it's just... It seems like a poorly thought out deal to me. Oh, I gotta be careful. I always, as Beth can tell you from the last, my first attempt at live streaming. Oh, I did it. I did it. I, uh, I'm really good at accidentally leaning on wet paint. Like, I guess uh, Viki is available on more um, platforms than Cocoa, but like, I don't know, they added it to Roku and that's what I use, so I suppose I'm a little biased on that one. Any song requests? I can look up stuff. As long as it's on Spotify, I can play it. Also, Viki's been dicking me around because they keep putting marriage contract on and then taking marriage contract away. And I'm frankly done with it because marriage contract is like my favorite drama, one of my favorite dramas next to Circle and they just keep ripping it from my grasps like some sort of monster. I'll be like, oh, I'm gonna go rewatch marriage contract. And they'll be like, not available in your region anymore for even though it was last week. Yeah, that's kind of dumb. 
I need. I do need a contract about marriage contract. I just need them to provide it to me at all times. You know what? I'm just gonna download it and put it on my phone. So whenever like the mood strikes. And the other one that they never have is Fool's Love because that was a friggin' drama fever R.I.P. Uh, situation. And that's another one of my faves. Nothing. I feel like I'm just being being let down. Like, frankly, like, we already knew that I was obsessed with contract marriage dramas anyway, but then when they came out with, like, a drama that was literally just called Marriage Contract, I was like, well, well hello. This is definitely made just for me. And I find it interesting that, like, a lot of my favorite dramas star EU and, like, or UE, sorry, and I don't actually find her that good of an actress, but like, she picks good projects that I enjoy. Oh, not bad, not bad. Alright, that's pretty good so far. You know what, I, I don't hate this. I don't hate this. I was like real hard on myself the last uh, the last live stream, but this one's this one's turning out pretty good. I like tried to do a little bit of research about watercolors like before starting this uh, second live stream and <laughs> I got like very not very much advice but uh, the one advice that I did get that had never actually like occurred to me to do it was like don't use toilet paper to dab uh, your paint because blah blah, blah. and I was like people would actually do that? That seems like toilet paper would just like dissolve. Like that would be a really bad idea. Maybe I'm just being too logical about it. Maybe just people are, I don't know, is that dumb? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, these look, this is looking so good. But now I feel like I'm gonna fuck it up. It's time to, time to do some, some other stuff. Let's see. What? colors should I use for the clothes? I think I'm gonna do her her handbook in pink. I'll do this in brown I guess. Sienna, a little burnt umba, believe in yourself, thanks, I, I will Jesse, I will. Well, that turned out to be a very horrific shade of brown. I'm gonna add a little bit of red. Getting slightly less awful. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay. I think I need a new paper towel. Whoop. Yeah, 
That's nice. I like that. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, Jesse, I'm so bad. Like, I will come up with some of the most horrifying colors you've ever seen. All in delightful shades of brown, obviously. It's on me. I like I like this brown. I don't I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I think I successfully made like a, a brown that looks like it's a coat and not like he's wearing a coat made of feces. doing this incorrectly but I'm just sort of painting it like I would color with pencil crowns I hope that's <laughs> hope that's acceptable wait it's my painting I can do it however I want I guess right Exactly, Jesse, that's right. <laughs> like, okay, so far this is succeeding better than the last one, purely by the fact that it looks like who it's supposed to look like. So, success on that front. Like, when I was painting the other one, it looked, it was supposed to be Beckyun, but it looked like the eight cosplaying as Beckyun. And then when it dried, it looked like Kai cosplaying as Beckyun. So it just, oh no, that was too dark. Get out. Either way, it didn't look, it didn't look like it was supposed to. There we go, that's much better. Ricky was here, but he's at his cousin's wedding. Ricky always brings up the the spice factor of any situation. We'll get we'll get him into one of these at some point. Also, eventually I'll get some actual lighting so this doesn't look like the absolute shite that it looks right now. True, the hair did look good. The hair was accurate to Beckyun, but the rest, mm, less so.
Yeah, that's true, Trot. That's that's true. I'm, I'm hoping that once I get some actual, like, lights in here, um, I can, like, spread out, like, the times that I do them so I don't have to do them in the afternoon so that it's not, so that people can actually, like, you know, see me at various times. Because you know me, I never, I don't really sleep. That's, that's not my, that's not my jam. Sleeping is what other people do. How's the quality over there? Is it all working good? This is my first time live streaming on YouTube, so I'm sort of pantsing it a bit, a little bit. It is wedding season. I have one tomorrow. Thanks, Trot. However, I am a professional artist, so this is, you know, when it's weak, it's like double shame. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. YouTube was giving me, you know, the old runaround while I was setting it up today. I know that my other little camera makes me look like I'm an Oompa Loompa, but that's a lighting issue because I don't have any. All of my lightings are for photography, not video, so they're all, none of them are uh, continuous lighting. They're all flashes, so. Okay. Yeah, this is this is looking good so far. Okay. I think like nice red will do. Touch my body. Everybody. Decided to go bold with her. <clears throat> Wish me luck. <laughs> it would also be like the flashlight would be impossible to set up usefully in this setup either.
So I watched Aquaman last night. You know how I posted like a few weeks ago how stupid Venom was? Well, at least Venom, when it was stupid, was memorably stupid. This was, Aquaman was like forgettably stupid. Like it was just so dumb and so pointless. And Willem Dafoe was in it, which I didn't realize, but I'm just like, what is you doing, baby? Why are you in this? And yes, I don't know why I was watching it. I'm gonna be real. I don't, I don't really have much of an excuse. Cause it was hilarious, like hilariously bad. Gashina, Gashina. Shazam was really fun. I really enjoyed Shazam. Aquaman, uh, pass. Like, I felt it was more of an homage to, like, 90s action films, but with better graphics. But, like, just, they really wanted, you know, they were really expecting Jason Momoa to, like, save a really dumb script. And he's fun, but he's really not good enough of an actor to save a bad script, no matter how beautiful he is. Because, you know... Man is stacked. However, he is, uh, you know, like, and I, I enjoy him, but this movie was, I just want to know how they got Willem Dafoe and Nicole Kidman to be in it. And also, I'm supposed to believe, okay, I cannot suspend my disbelief long enough to believe that Nicole Kidman somehow birthed Jason Momoa. In no frickin' world is that something that I can suspend my belief, disbelief enough to get on board with. Because, are you kidding me, Ira? Yeah, like, but I wish they were better at it, you know? Like... Like, Shazam was good because it was fun. And I think they tried to be fun with this, but it was just stupid. It wasn't, it wasn't fun. It was just, meh. I really wanted to like it. I'm gonna be real. Like, I'm not, you know, trying to hate on, I like superhero movies. And I actually really liked Man of Steel. Like, I thought it was dumb, but I liked it. But this I didn't, I didn't like. Oh, I hear someone coming. Diablo! Diablo! Oh, he left. He's not ready for his cameo yet, I guess.
Come here. He's hiding from me. He's shy. Come here, buddy. Yeah, Blue. One second. I shall return in 30, less than 30 seconds. I did promise that he'd make an appearance. What do you think of mommy's painting? Do you care? No? This is Diablo. He's grumpy and hateful, but I love him. Jesse and Sky are already well acquainted with him because he shows up to most of our podcast recordings because he cannot be left alone. Okay. Have fun. You can go you can go lie on your pillow if you want. There's nice look, there's sunshine over there. Go. Go, go, go. Go, lie on, go lie on your bed. Go, go, go. Or just stay there. Whatever. It's up to you. You do you, buddy. The world is your oyster. Or just stand right under my chair and make little tippy tappy noises. You do you, man. Believe in your dreams. He is. He doesn't make a lot of noise, except if people are delivering mail or, del you know, food deliveries or coming into our house. But, like, just, he likes to just chill. He's kind of sort of a cat. He was raised with cats, and that's the life he knows. Yeah, buddy, you can get back there. He's like, okay, I have, like, a light stand he has like a bed near my my office has like sliding doors because it's supposed to be like a little like breakfast nook or whatever um but like i definitely am not a breakfast nook person um there it goes he made it but i have some like light stands set up just like holding just some equipment and he just like couldn't figure out how to navigate around them he's not he only his brain's the size of like a peanut so like i can't really you know Expect too, expect too much from him. And I feel like Gucci. Okay. I like this Viridian. Okay, that was one time, Jesse. I, uh... We, there was an incident. He got stuck in my headphones while we were recording. The F U C K that you say about me. He was very perturbed about the headphone incident. I'm a bad motherfucker. I feel like. He, I know. Well, it, okay. In my defense, it wasn't like strangling him around the neck. It was like wrapped around one of his legs and his butt. So like, he would have been fine, you know. <laughs> like, you're making me seem worse than I am. I was. Well, see, cause like he got tangled in it with his leg, and then it ripped the headphones out of my ears because I was using some sad sack little head you know earbuds and then I had to like somehow finish what I was saying while trying <laughs> to get him out <laughs> it was pretty pathetic I will admit that
But like, I never shut up. So it's, you know, there's a good chance that I'm the one talking when I do something foolish on the podcast. I feel like I should do like <laughs> I knew you'd like this one, Sky. I have a a pod a uh, playlist on um Spotify that's live painting K-pop. And that's uh, that's what I play. On Twitch they like muted it after. We'll see we'll see what goes down on uh, YouTube when I'm done like if they'll mute if they'll mute my audio cuz of copyright violations. But I feel like they don't like police uh, their live streams that much on YouTube. We'll find out. I feel like I should do a mukbang too. I like eat a lot, so I feel like that would be like something that I would be good at. Cause I love, you know, food and eating and broadcasting my life on the internet. Why not? We can all eat together. <laughs> Yeah! Like, well, I think they just sort of, like, have, like, a AI on Twitch that just, like, if they hear anything, they just mute your whole stream. But not, like, during, only, like, after, so... It doesn't really make that much of a difference because I feel like these streams don't have much of a rewatch value. Because, <laughs> like, you'd have to also be reading all the comments for this to make any sense. Ooh, what kind of pie are you making, Grace? Not Grace. I always do that. Beth, 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 Beth. What kind of pie are you making? Now I want pie. Is it cherry? Cherry's my favorite pie. That and lemon meringue, which is interesting because I'm allergic to eggs. Oh my god, okay. Those first episodes of Absolute Robot, I was howling watching. I was literally howling laughing. Like, the cast is mwah. It's perfection. Well, they haven't shut me down yet, so... <laughs> also, I'm not monetized, so I feel like they don't really give a shit what I'm up to. Okay. So it is, it's like, is it Grace Elizabeth? Is that like... Is that like the name? I think I'm gonna go with some blue. Where's the Prussian blue? Prussian blue. Yeah, I'm really enjoying Absolute Boyfriend. Uh, like, the cast is so good. And I just, I just love Yudin Gu. I just love him. He's so cute. I think that's his name, right? I'm bad with names. But like, he's such a, he's such a little bean. And he's just, just, oh. I just, I just, pecan? <gasps> Gluten-free vegan pecan? You're speaking my language, girl! Because I am vegan and have celiacs, so a gluten-free vegan pecan cake, or cake, pie, is really the way to my heart, to be honest. I haven't had a pecan pie in so long, because pecans are so expensive in Halifax. They're like $13 a bag or something. Ludicrous. And as I said, I'm a cheap. Oh! 
Yeah, my family does that too. I'm well, well renowned at uh, falling my way up, up through life. Yeah, pecan cake. That would be like pretty. You know, it'd be really good, like a carrot cake, but instead of walnuts, pecans, because pecans are superior to walnuts in literally every way. I'm saying it. I know. Fight me. Cut at me. But like a carrot cake with some like thick ass cream cheese frosting. And stick some pecans in there. Ooh, you went for a good time. Now I want to make a cake, but I don't have any of the ingredients and no desire to leave my house because it's like freezing in this town. My uh, husband has referred to it as Maybember. Yeah, so uh, Beth, here's 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 what you gotta do. You gotta make me a vegan, gluten-free uh, carrot cake, and then um, send it from California to uh, the other side of North America to Halifax, Nova Scotia, um, and then I will eat it and be happy. Oh, divorce him! Divorce him! <laughs> I'm kidding. Your husband's really nice. <laughs> Deal breaker. Uh, luckily, Briggsy doesn't really have any sort of food hangups. He didn't used to like um, squash, but that was because his grandmother once told him that it was something else, like a sweet potato or something to try to con him into eating it. And then he ate it and was like, this is disgusting. This wasn't a sweet potato at all. So he thought that he hated squash, but it's just he hated squash when he thought it was going to be a sweet potato. So he likes it now. I did, I immediately backed up. I immediately backed up, Sky. I don't really mean it. You know me. Tell him to at me. Just at me, like all the army. At me. Ooh, that's a good idea. Yeah, ship it to my cousin's house. We can all eat. We can all uh. True! That does seem like that would mean more cake, but we are all going camping together. Well, by all, I mean Jesse, Sky, and and I, and also Amanda are going camping together uh, in August. So, um, should you desire to send a cake, um, we will eat and review said cake for you. So, um, we are expert cake reviewers. Um, just putting that out there. Um, if anyone ever needs a gluten-free vegan cake reviewed, send it my way. I, uh, I can make that happen for you. I am more than happy to review any and all cakes that won't kill me when I eat them. Why are you going to Ohio? Because that would be very close to a place that we will all be in which you can give us cake. We'll just, we'll have the first ever certified Nuna's mukbang where we just eat your cake and talk about how much we love that cake. Like, I have to be honest, this one is like 50 times better than the last attempt. I think I'm gonna go with like a really light blue on his shirt. Oh, I should probably like open the container. Bum, 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 bum. 
Bum, 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 bitch. One second. I just, I need to put more water in my little water brushes. I'll be, I'll be right, I'll be back. I'll be, 10 seconds. 10 seconds. See, if I was a smart person, <laughs> I would keep water next to me in order to have it while painting to refill my little brushes. But I think we've already established. No. Ooh, family vacation, fun, 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 fun. I don't really go on many of those, but I am going to be um, in my family's home soon, actually, um, because, <laughs> because uh, we're having a, and I wish I was kidding about this, a princess party that I am supposed to dress up as the fairy godmother for and paint little girls nails for my niece's birthdays. Whoop, whoop. I also love baking, but I'm incredibly lazy and bad at cleaning. So I like feel too bad to my poor husband who takes on the brunt of picking up my slack as it were uh, to do too much baking. Though I suppose I should do more baking because then I could be like, I'm sorry that I'm always messing up the kitchen and you clean it up, but here's a delicious cake for you. And I feel like he'd really appreciate that. So maybe I should start baking more. Whoop, whoop. That's right, Jesse. Doing the dishes? Nah. Nah, that's not my scene. I, I, I'd show you our kitchen sink right now, but um, that would be exposing me just a little, a little too much. We have to have limits. Though, like, you know, let's be real. Like, eventually I'll probably be like, yo, here's my messy kitchen. I hope you enjoy it. That's, you know, that's just kind of who I am as a person. That went poorly, that went poorly, no, 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 no. I, uh, I'm a pretty shameless person in that sense. I, uh, it's like pretty well known by everyone who knows me that I'm messy as hell. So I feel like eventually they'll just be like, mm, hey everyone. Hey guys, it's me. Welcome to my mess. All I hear is like a little tippy tapping of old Diablo chilling around. Eventually, I will 
get slightly better of a setup here because um, I'm going to be getting a desk. <laughs> yeah, don't have one. Well, I have one, but it's currently in a closet and it's really small and not super conducive to like anything. Um, so my my husband does. For, oh, I just messed up her eyes. She looks like a demon now. Nah, whatever. Um, so yeah, so I've got my eye on a nice uh, desk at Yul Yul Ika. So hopefully, like, eventually this will become slightly less sad and dark. Like, but you know, maybe you're into the sad dark. I don't know. I don't know, man. You do you. I'm also going to eventually paint this ugly ass wall in here. Um, I don't know, like, I feel like this house was built in, I'd say like, I don't know, like the 30s or 40s, but anyway, wood paneling was like real popular because there is so much ugly ass exposed wood in this house, it's not even funny. But like, my house is really cute and the rent is really cheap, so I can't really, you know, can't complain. Can't complain too much. I got the money. Now I did briefly uh, in college dabble in tra semi-traditional artwork because my friend hired me to ink and color his very short-lived webcomic. But the inking was, well, that was done. I don't even think I have pictures left over from it. I have, I have one picture left over at my mom's house of Spider-Man that he had me ink for him um, back in the day. But uh, me and traditional art have never really been you know, compatriots. I was always, I was an early adopter of the digital world. Ka-ching, ka-ching. You're on the payroll. Ka-ching, 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 ka-ching. Money's good, money's bad. So I know uh, the Nunas and I are going to see Monster X this summer. Is anyone else uh, hitting up some concerts or anything fun this summer? Any fun plans? Oh yeah? Who are you thinking of seeing?
Ooh. Got seven will be good though. It would be silly good times. Gotcha. You're lucky you live in California. Um, you know who comes to Halifax? No, no one. Well, indie bands. And while I like a good indie band, eh. So, essentially no one. No one, there ain't no K-pop acts coming to, coming to Halifax, let's just say that. <laughs> Halifax on the ass end of Canada. It seems like I'm joking when I say that, but legit ass end of Canada. Yeah, the midweek shows are kind of rough, eh? Like, I suppose it doesn't really matter for me because I'm like a hobo who just sort of dances through life. But um, I imagine people with real jobs uh, would uh, find that to be a bit of a hardship to attend. Especially if they have to travel for it. I would love to see day six and they came like a while ago but I think it'll probably be a while before they come back I haven't gotten into the rows yet but I feel like there's something that I would really enjoy I'm really pumped to be in the same breathing space as my babies. Mostly Shonu. Love him. Love him and his inappropriate sweatpant wearing. Mm. Yeah, I feel like there's something I'd be into. I've like, you know. I think my problem is it's like there's all these groups that I'm like, oh, I feel like I should be into them, but like I'm into so many groups that like the thought of adding more is almost exhausting. You know, does anyone else ever feel like that? Like the, the problem of the multi-stand life, am I right? Well, except for her, like, demon eyes. Yeah, like, my- I have family in New Jersey, but, like, it's, like, South Jersey, so it's still not super convenient to getting anywhere. And I don't drive, so it's not like I can just rent a car. I don't even have a license. <laughs> I know. I rely on the kindness of friends and family to get me places. Like, this looks hella good. Am I crazy? Like, I feel like I, like, Beth was here for, for the last one. She can tell me. She can tell y'all. Is this, like, way better than, the like, how the last one went? I feel like this is going way better. I really wish also that uh, YouTube Live had like a creative or art tag. Maybe we could get some new friends in here, but they don't. They don't, so it'll st 
stick to the how to tag for some that was the only thing remotely close to what's what's going on here and that's like barely what's happening here like the last one at, the, at this point in in Thursday's live stream like it started to look pretty rough uh, this is looking pretty good Okay, I think that we need like a background now because I did already smudge up around his hair. Um, because like, uh, because of course I did. That's the wrong brush. That's the brush I want. I'm just gonna define his hair a little more. Come on. Yeah, I well, in the last one, things things were not turning out as I envisioned them in my head, and you know that can get frustrating. <gasps> I hear my husband, Briggsy. Yes. What you doing? Oh, nothing. Do you want to you come say hi? I'll okay. We put the kettle on. Yeah. Thank you, babes. I'll get him in one of these one day. Mark my words. <laughs> this one's turning out much better than Thursdays, honey. Oh. On Thursdays, uh, the longer I painted, the, the further from the intended portrait subject it grew, and thus my sadness grew as well. This is, this is looking good though. Okay, background, 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 background. What color should I do? Hmm. Well, I haven't opened this violet yet, so let's check it out. Thank you. Pulling out the big guns for this one.
So is it a long weekend in the States? Because it's a long weekend here. But I don't really know American holidays that aren't, you know, the same as Canadian ones. So I don't know if it's a long weekend there. So let me know. And if it is, are you up to anything fun? Next weekend? Is it, what, Memorial Day next weekend? Some, is that what it's called? What's the holiday this weekend, honey? Victoria Day? Yes. Okay. Or, uh, Jour de Patriot. Yes. It's Victoria Day, which I guess is to celebrate the dead queen. She's the only one who gets a day. I don't know why she was particularly beloved of the holiday makers, but whatever. Ooh, wineries. Fun. Well, I'm shooting a wedding tomorrow, and then Monday, I think think we're cleaning the fridge uh -huh. yep we're cleaning the fridge so that's how we spend our super exciting old married couple holiday weekend <laughs> There's always like a delay between when I get your jokes and laugh at them and when you like get what I'm saying because there's like a delay, but that was a great, that was a great, uh, you made, you made me laugh, Jesse. you made me laugh. Like, from what I understand, she was kind of a douche, wasn't she, Queen Victoria? Yeah, she was kind of a dick and racist. Dead, well, pfft, it was the 1800s, I'm pretty sure they were all racist, but like, she's kind of a dick, is what I recall. Yeah, and she just wouldn't die. She's very long lived. Has she been unseated now, honey? Yeah, well, Elizabeth is right longer now. Yes. So apparently the current queen is the only monarch who has reigned longer than old Vicky. Vicky W. But I feel like people like to romanticize her because, like, she was so dedicated to her dead husband or whatever, but, like, it, you know. Anglophile, she reigned over sort of the height of the Commonwealth when Britain had its imperialistic height. Here, I'll give you some tea. <gasps> Thank you, baby. See, Briggsy's really good because if I'm curious about something, he usually knows the answer. And so he's very good at then informing me of the things that I would like to know. And if he doesn't know, he Googles it for me. 
Because, you know, I can be lazy sometimes. Yeah, she definitely did sign a law that made it illegal to be gay, for sure. The worst. So fuck her. Or don't, because she's dead. And was very dedicated. I hope she's rolling in her grave, looking at all the happy gays. <laughs> okay, this like looks pretty great. Gonna be gonna be real. Oh yeah, Victorian England was gay as hell. <laughs> Like, to be honest, all of history was gay as hell. Let's, you know, let's not kid ourselves. It's just people fooling themselves into thinking it wasn't. All right, I think this is... Yeah, right? Ironic. Only men couldn't be gay because people could not conceive of the idea that women might be gay or that women, you know, might want to have sex. And that's, that, that exists still today. And I'm like, excuse me, this is incorrect, this is not, this is not correct, stop it. This looks pretty good. I think that this is done. I think I should, uh, I should do my little signature at the bottom. Mm, let's do it in this nice green. Like, y'all know those cavemen were shopping each other, too. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Okay, now comes, like, the really satisfying part that I didn't put in the last uh, live stream, but am putting in this one because I find it so satisfying. It's when I peel up the tape that's been holding this to the table, and it forms this, like, beautiful crisp as hell line yes oh thank you my love ignore her demon eyes I think we did pretty good all right so because I did this last time and I'm gonna keep doing it um, I have here oh oops I already got some paint on it oh thank you sky thank you um, I have the next uh, piece of artwork for I think either Monday or Tuesday's stream. I'm still determining uh, what's the best day. I feel like Monday. Um, so I'm going to be doing uh, this this old Tainu piece. Yeah. So uh, that'll be the next one and we can continue these nonsense discussions that uh we so enjoy. Thank you. Thank you for spending time with me. Hopefully soon I'll be able to get some like a lamp or something just to <laughs> just just to brighten this up. As you can see, I've already uh, spilled. It's actually nail polish. I spilled nail polish on the top of this, but we're just gonna like. We're just gonna ignore that. 
Oh, also, you, and I did say that I might do my nails in here, but then I did them last night, and here's how they turned out. Uh, enjoy. Enjoy these. They were supposed to be, like, they turned out a little bit more. Ooh, come on. Sort of make these. There we go. They turned out a little bit more abstract than... Eh. 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 All right, bye, Sky. Bye, everyone. I'm gonna end this. Bye. Bye. I'll see you all on Twitter. That's where I live.